Hey friends, welcome back to uh, Pastor Kevin and Friends, and I am so glad that you could join us, and we have our friend, who is it? Holy cow! How are you going to say you all, and you, and you, and you, you just all so good looking. And then there's Pastor Kevin. Hey, holy cow, that's not very nice. Holy cow, I am glad that you could join me today, and I got a question for you. If you had $3 in one pocket and $4 in the other pocket, how much money would you have? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you know? Because you don't give me no money. Well, okay. Well, let's try something else. Let's see if you know something else. Holy cow, whose picture is on a $1 bill? Oh, I don't know. What about a $5 bill? Oh, I don't know that either. $10 bill. Uh-uh, don't know. $20 bill. Oh, Mr. Kevin, I just don't know. Why don't you know whose picture is on money? Because like I said, you don't ever get any. If I had money, I'd go buy some popsicles for all my friends. Oh, so you think, yeah, so you understand what money does. Money helps us buy the things that we want. But uh, Andrew Jackson's on a $20 bill. Oh, I don't know that. So I got a $20 bill here. How much do you think it's worth? Uh, $20? That's right, $20. It's worth $20. If I took and I crumpled it all up, it's all wrinkly and messed up. What's it worth now? Uh, $20? That's right, still worth $20, even though it's all crumpled up. What if I took this $20 bill we straightened it out a little bit. What if we did something crazy like tore it in half? Whoa, what'd you do, Mr. Kid? You's nuts, are you crazy or something? He, he's crazy, folks. No, I'm not crazy. My mother had me tested. How much do I have here? Uh, uh, half a 20 is two tens. No, no, no. It's still $20. It's still worth $20. All I have to do is get some tape and put it back together. If I set it on fire, as long as I didn't burn over half of this, the bank would replace it and give me a whole $20 bill back because it's still worth $20. Oh, man, why don't you get some tape and go get some popsicles? We might get some popsicles later. But hey, I, this money reminds me of a story from the Bible. You see, Jesus was at this place in Mark chapter 12, where he sat down opposite of the place where the offerings were being put in. And he was watching the crowd put their money into the offering. And a lot of people, rich people, were putting in large amounts of money. What, $20? Yes, large, large amounts of money. But this poor widow woman came and she put in two very small coins. Might have been worth about a penny. Oh, I ain't nuts. Not even nuts to get a tossicle. Well, it was all she had. And when Jesus called his disciples around him, and, and Jesus said, I tell you the truth, this poor woman put in more than everybody else. Oh, no, no, no. He couldn't do the mathematics. No, 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 no. She put in all that she had. They just put in part of what they had. Uh, she gave out of her poverty while everybody else gave out of their wealth. And Jesus was very pleased with what she had done. Oh, that's, that's different. Well, no, it's it's not necessarily different, holy cow. You see, there's things that you can do that I cannot do and things I can do that you cannot do. But together, we can do some great things. Well, I don't know how to do anything without you, Mr. Kevin. He's a right-hanging man. Well, there's probably more truth to that than we really realize, holy cow, that I am your right-hand man. But there's things that all of us can do. We can all give. Hey, oh, Mr. Kevin, I've never seen one of these little kids working at McDonald's. No, no, no. It's not about working at a job. It's about working around every place else. Like here at church. Well, none of these kids is going to take your job. No, they're not going to take my job, but there's things they can do to please Jesus here in the church. Some of them can read the Bible. Oh, well, I can't read. No, but... 
there's things that you can do. Oh, yeah, I could sing. I was going to sing a song right now. No, 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 no. Now's not the time for you to sing, holy cow. That's okay. I appreciate the offer, but that's not what we need you to do. You know what you could can do? Some people can do puppets at church. Some people can do skits. Some people can help clean up. Some people are even good at fixing things. Oh, why well, they could do all sorts of things. But I sure would like to sing. No, 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 no. I tell you what. If you promise not to sing, I'll get you a popsicle. Oh, <laughs> that's a deal, mister. Yeah, but see, we can all give. And just because you can't sing or I can't sing or I can't fix something, I can't read something, but you could read something. There's all things that we can do. And Jesus doesn't compare us to each other. And we don't need to compare each other. Uh, we don't need to compare ourselves to anybody else. Yeah, I don't want them to compare themselves to me. I don't think they'd want to compare themselves to you, holy cow. But that's okay, because we're all different, and we all have special gifts and abilities, and the Bible calls them talents. And when we use those abilities and those talents for Jesus, Jesus is pleased. Oh, wow. And I think I'd be pleased to have a popsicle. Well, we'll see about that popsicle, like I said, buddy. But Jesus is pleased when we use whatever our gifts, whether that is giving of money in the offering or giving of our time, our talent, our treasure, and our touch. In the church service, Jesus is pleased. So we want to do everything that brings him praise, honor, and glory. Oh, Brother Kevin, you is so right. Your mama must call you son. Well, I think she does. So say goodbye, holy cow. Goodbye, holy cow. You all take care and dress your hair. And then brush your teeth. You only got to rush the ones you want to keep. Ha, this is Pastor Kevin. He's right about the teeth. And we love you. And we can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye.